Hi, my name is Yonatan Yudrin, and I'm so excited to be the newest Rebbe on the Araita staff. There are times when I open up the Torah, and I sense the infinite nature of the Torah. And there are other times when I open it, where I feel extremely challenged by the mitzvah or the Torah that I'm reading, or the story that I'm reading. And I say to myself, how can I relate to this mitzvah? How can I take this story and make it meaningful to me now? And this week's Torah portion, Parshat Chukat, we are presented with one of the most difficult mitzvot in all of the Torah. And the Torah itself seemingly tells us this, when it says, Zot Chukat a Torah asher tziva Hashem. This is the paradigmatic chok, law that we cannot understand, that is presented to us in all of the Torah. What is this mitzvah? Para Aduma. Para Aduma, the red heifer, is very challenging. Let's think about it for a second. The ashes of a red heifer are sprinkled on a person who has come in contact with death on the third day and the seventh day. And that process is supposed to remove the spiritual imprint that death has made on that person. If that weren't challenging enough to understand, the person who is administering the procedure also requires a purification. What is going on here? Chazal point us to the fact of the difficulty of this mitzvah. And they tell us, you know what, there's going to be a worldview that is going to try to discredit the entirety of the Torah based on this one mitzvah. And that worldview is not one that is so foreign to us even today. This worldview claims and asks, where is the empirical evidence? Where is the medical proof that this process does anything? Rav Yehuda Levi, the author of the Kuzari, explains this challenge in a very interesting way. He has several different classifications for mitzvot. One of them being mitzvot Elohiyot, divine laws. Divine laws simply are laws that Hashem understands and that we don't. And paradoxically, these laws that are completely illogical allow us to have the deepest and most meaningful relationship with Hashem. So, according to this, Rabbi Huda, Rabbi Huda Alevi would answer the claim as follows. You're right. We have no proof. And that's exactly the way that we want it. Because we have an understanding that the Torah is divine, that is beyond the human mind and beyond human logic. And there is an acceptance that comes with that, with the doing of the mitzvot, that are called chukim. Now this is an important facet of the Torah and of the mitzvot, but it's not the whole picture. As a matter of fact, the Maharal of Prague points out that the phrase, zot chukat a Torah, is an oxymoron. There are two words that don't make sense together, because chok, that which doesn't make any sense, that which is beyond human logic, and Torah, Torah is limud. Torah is utilizing and connecting to the human endeavor. Those two things are in complete contradiction to one another. How can they come together? In this way, Zot Chukata Torah expresses a beautiful paradox in the Torah that we have both the logical with the illogical, the human together with the divine in a beautiful synergy. And a relationship with both of these necessary facets of the Torah allows for a holistic relationship with the Torah and with Hashem. Shabbat Shalom.